After promising to withdraw all American troops, the White House now says about 400 will remain in Syria. It's a very small, tiny fraction of the people we have, and uh, a lot of people like that idea. One of them, the commander of U.S. allied Kurdish forces fighting ISIS. It's good for stability in the region, he said. But questions remain about the fate of thousands of ISIS family members, like U.S.-born Hoda Muthanna, who left Alabama to join the terror group, now living in a camp with her one-year-old son. I showed her Secretary of State Pompeo's reaction to her pleas to return. She is a terrorist. She's not a U.S. citizen. She ought not return to this country. I'm a citizen, and there's papers to prove it. I'm just as American as any blonde hair, blue-eyed girl, and I would like to stay in my country and do American things, you know. A lot of people are going to find that hard to believe after some of the, the tweets <laughs> that you put out. I know, I know that, but it was an ideology that really was just a phase. There's one tweet in particular where you talk about calling on Americans to do drive-by shootings, to rent a truck and drive over people, spilling their blood, and you say, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, go out and do it. Again, my lawyer told me not to speak about these things. And Muthanna is just one of thousands of ISIS wives and children now trying to leave. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.